What's up guys, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can get Google Drive Auto Sync to work on your desktop. Basically, it'll go ahead and sync any folders you pick with your Google Drive. If you add things to your drive using another device, they'll download automatically onto your PC. And if you edit or delete something off of your PC from one of the backed up folders, it'll remove it off your Google Drive. So it's super useful and incredibly good for you if you have a backup that's set up to do this all automatically. I find it way better than most other services out there and it's just so good. So to begin, we'll be using Windows. Of course, this will work on other platforms, but this is what I'm demonstrating today. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser, head across to Google, and I'll just type in Drive Sync. Then I'll head across to Download Google Drive and then download the personal backup and sync. Agree and download and then run. While it's downloading, this is the main reason that I started backing up to Google Drive, and that's because of Google One. Basically, if we scroll down to the bottom here, things are in South African rands. However, these are incredibly cheap. So if I go to more options, you can see that you can get two terabytes for only 150 rand a month. That's like, what, maybe $10, I think? $10 a month is super cheap, especially when you pay for a year, you save two months worth. So it's incredibly good, the deals that you get off of here, in my opinion, and that's what I paid for here because I had to back up about 600 gigs worth, and uh, of course, 200 is not enough. So that's why I've started backing up to Google Drive. Once it's open, it'll say installation complete, super simple, get started. And now we just need to sign into our Google account, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Once you've done that, you'll see a page similar to this, I'll just hit got it. So there's a couple of things that we're going to run through here. If you already know what they are, then you can go ahead and skip forward a couple of seconds. However, there are two options for photo and video on Google Drive, original quality and high quality. Original quality saves it into the original quality. It doesn't change it at all. It just uploads it straight to Google Drive and stores it on your Google Drive folders. High quality compresses it and uses Google's algorithms, etc., etc. Who knows what it really does, but it gives you unlimited storage, which is really good. Although sometimes you do want to keep all of the quality, so that's what I'll leave here. And of course, I won't be actually keeping this. This is just a virtual machine to demonstrate this. Up here, you have the folders that you want to sync. So if I quickly switch back to my actual desktop that I'm logged in with, you can see that I have my Google Drive folder up here with all of my files inside of it, and then a computers tab right below it with the name of my computer, which is currently my computer, and all of the backed up folders I have auto-syncing inside of it. So that's exactly what it will do here. It'll make another computer and it'll sync these folders automatically. So I'll uncheck those and I'll just sync desktop for now. By double-clicking the icon, which is the cloud over here, or right-clicking it, it brings up a window similar to this, and you can go ahead and choose folder to add another folder if you so wish. However, I won't be doing that, but there's the option if you need to. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next, got it, and then choose here. So you can sync everything, or only these folders. So I don't want to sync anything off of my Google Drive onto my local PC in this file location over here. So I can simply uncheck sync my drive to this computer and it won't sync anything out of my drive. It'll only sync the computers tab over here. So I'll hit start and then you can see that the cloud icon on the bottom right should start spinning. And if we click on it once, you'll see preparing to sync over here. So as soon as this is done preparing, it should sync my entire desktop shortcuts and this file over here. You can see a little spinning blue icon next to it, not actually animated, but it just shows that it's moving. That means that that is going to be synced. There we have it. Once it finishes syncing, it'll pop up here. Then you can see that in Google Drive under computers, I have my main desktop computer here and the virtual machine that I just installed and did that over here, my computer one. And then here is the wallpaper file that was on my desktop, wallpaper 71 in all of its good glory. So that's basically it. Anything I add to this folder will be automatically synced to my virtual machine's desktop or your desktop and uh, vice versa. If you add something to your desktop, change something, delete something, the same will be reflected here under computers, followed by your computer, and then the folders over here. If I go to Google Drive on my main desktop, click on it, and then hit the three dots in the top right, preferences, you can see all of my folders over here on my desktop. It's just gonna take a while to calculate size because they are absolutely massive, but you can see that I have a bunch of folders here added and ticked, the ones that aren't ticked are not being synced currently. So it's all of these ones over here. Again, I can unselect them or reselect them, choose folder to add a new one, and that's about it. That is Google Backup and Sync. Super useful and super good if you have issues with your hard disk, you fear something might happen, or you just generally want some kind of backup just with that extra bit of security.
Of course, once you uninstall it on your computer or do whatever, you can right click and remove that computer from your backup entirely and it'll go straight to your trash. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Beansake Nobu here for Troubleshoot. Hope this helps you and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.